when I'm talking about the unconditional love of God, you know, it's my personal experience that God loves me unconditionally. That doesn't mean things don't go wrong. You know, his love for me is his love for me as a person. And therefore, no matter what happens to me or what I've done or what has been done to me, his love doesn't change. But that doesn't mean that he can step in and change everything for everybody. We live in a world which has fallen. We live in a world that's broken. It's being restored, but it's not yet fully restored. So things do go wrong. And I don't have an answer, obviously, to why some prayers seem to work and some prayers don't seem to work. And we do things that we think we're doing everything we can do, and yet things don't seem to work out. You know, that there is no real answer to that. Um, but when I have experienced the unconditional love, and it is an experience, it's not a belief. I don't believe in God's unconditional love. I know God's unconditional love by experience. God loves you as an individual. That love is unconditional. But unconditional love keeps no record of the past and wants to bless you for the future in the context of God has given everyone free will and we live in a world in which difficult things go on and people make choices and we live in a world which is not yet restored and I think that's the the thing when I look at sickness when I look at disease when I look at you know tragedies whether they be earthquakes or ver various things like that you know, for me because I know God loves me in that way and I have that face-to-face -face relationship with him it doesn't cause me to doubt God because I realize that God can't stop everything otherwise there would be no free choice and therefore there would be no love <clears throat> you can't love someone by force and God doesn't want us to be forced to love him he wants us to choose to love him so unconditional love goes both ways of course in fact love has to be unconditional or it's not love you know if God puts a condition on my love then I'm earning a reward for my behavior if I put a cognition on God, then I'm also loving God because he's done something good to me or for me. I love God inherently because he's my father. Um, I'm in relationship with him. I know his goodness and I choose uh, to love him um, in a sense. But I feel that love because I felt his love for me. And he's always been there for me, no matter what's gone on in my life. I and mean, when I get to a difficult situation and I'm not sure what to do or what to think, then I, I go to God and I ask him to reveal what he wants to reveal to me. Um, and sometimes that's a direct answer to the, some of the things I ask. And sometimes it isn't. But I've learned to trust him. Um, and I think when it comes to to trusting God I, I like when Jesus said to his disciples you know are you going to leave me I think that was after he talked about eat my flesh and drink my blood and it was recorded in John 6 and they said well wh where can we go you have the words of eternal life and and I think for me it's like there there is no one else you know there is no other option I trust God but I know God is good if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.